let's discuss aspect score which is used to grade the severity of stroke commonly used in MCA territory also for PCA territory stroke previously it was said that more than one third of MCA territory involved on NCCT increased the risk of hemorrhage on administering intravenous RTPA as treatment but this had lack of inter-observer variations and hence aspect score was introduced. What is aspect score? It stands for Alberta Stroke Program Early CT Score. It has 10 points and it is more commonly used for MCA territory stroke also used for PCA territory stroke. Let's see for MCA territory. Two standard sections of NCCT head are taken for the scoring. One at the level of thalamus and basal ganglia and other at the level of ventricles just above the section of basal ganglia. Each of these sections have multiple areas which are given 0.1 on the scoring scale. Areas at the level of basal ganglia are caudate nucleus, lentiform nucleus, the internal capsule, the insular cortex and the cortex is divided into three parts that is M1 anterior MCA cortex, M2 that is lateral to insular cortex and M3 which is posterior MCA cortex. Each of these are given 0.1 so 4 plus 3 7 points in this section. Next, at the level of ventricles, there is M4 which is above M1, M5 which is above M2 and M6 which is placed above M3. So 3 points in this section, so total 10 points. 1 point each is deducted from a total point of 10 if each area is involved. And to be involved, it should appear hypodense on NCCT. Less than 7 out of 10 scoring is considered to have worst outcome. Aspect score was later applied to posterior circulation also, which was also given 10 points. Thalami, 2 thalami, so total point of 2. The occipital lobes, 1 point each for each lobe, that is 2. Next, the cerebellar hemispheres, 2 hemispheres, so total 2 points. Next, midbrain, if involved, given 2 points and pawns, if involved, given 2 points. So, total of 10 points. Thank you. Please subscribe for more videos.